what's up? You just Sorry. hit the stage in Haiti, first time performing in the country. Yes. How do you feel? How was the crowd energy? Amazing. I've not had this type of energy in a long time. Mm -hmm. So it was really amazing, really amazing to see. Good. This is my third time seeing you performing. Mm -hmm. I was in, in February in Trinidad. Mm -hmm. And also you perform for a Haitian crowd in yeah, May. Yeah, mm -hmm. How do you compare um, the Haitian crowd in Miami and the Haitian crowd here? I mean, it was, it was fun too in Miami. The crowd was nice. It was still amazing. But this crowd here... Back in Haiti is crazy. Good. This concert is part of your 21, the world tour. Yes. You have like 40 shows. How do you prepare for such a long and diverse uh, tour? Oh my God. To be honest, I'm just going where God leads me to. I'm not overthinking it. Yeah. I'm just taking it one day at a time. Mm -hmm. Whatever comes, whatever will take it. So how do you prepare mentally and physically? Because you move a lot on stage yeah, as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm always... I've been... I've kind of been touring for the last one year already, yep. you know, doing festivals and all of that. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of prepared, you know, physically, mentally. I have people around me that I love and they love me and, you know, it's good. And I'm also working on music at the same time. Mm -hmm. So, I know it's a short trip, but you landed yesterday. Yeah. Um, is there anything in Haitian culture that uh, resonates with you? Um, maybe the food or the music of or the people? The what is it? Of course the food. <laughs> I've been saying this with my team. The food has been so good. See? I usually don't gas up food. If food is, if food is not good, I would say it. <laughs> I can't lie. But the food has been so good. Every single what thing What did I've you eaten. have as Asian food? Do you have the grillo and uh, yeah, I had, like, uh, fried plantain? Fried plantain and meat. There's a type of meat I had, like fried meat I had. Yes, that was that's so a grillo. It's like yeah. pork. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so good. Um, what else did I have? You had some rice and chicken that was mm -hmm. so good too. So yeah. Good. Let's talk a little bit about your project. You posted on 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 your Facebook that uh, your sophomore album is eighty three percent done. <laughs> I don't know where that Very number comes from, number. of course. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about what the fan can expect from this project. You know, um, I think the the fans can definitely expect you know evolution. Mm -hmm. You know. Maturity. Yes, mm -hmm. definitely. Like, um, I've, I've explored with different sounds and I feel like I've mastered my craft now. Mm -hmm. You know, from my EP to my first album, amazing projects. But with this album, there's something so special about this album because I feel like I really just, I know what I'm doing now. Like, mm -hmm. I'm very specific about what I want to hear, what I'm doing, sounds and what I want to write about and everything. Mm -hmm. And yeah, like, I have some really, really amazing songs. It's definitely going to be one of the biggest albums ever of so. course following you i see that you do a lot of collaborations you're you're everywhere you're collaborating with a bunch of people from different backgrounds <laughs> uh, i just discovered a song that you do or that you did with uh Tori kelly and and some other songs of course um how are you really that kind of artist that really want to collaborate with 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 a lot of people i or? just i love music so much like mm -hmm. i don't overthink it to be honest now I, i'm guessing i have to because everybody's like ira like relax yeah but I love music and when I just, when people send me music, oh, what do you think about it? I'm like, okay, sure. Like, I don't even think about the releasing of the music. Yes, yeah. I just record. You just record. Like, I just like, oh, <laughs> I'm in the studio right now. Sure, send it to me. And I just record something. Good. I'm always doing that because I love music so much. And yeah, like, I, everybody that I've worked with, I definitely love their music and, you know, or I'm friends with them. Or it's like, it's just, it's a genuine thing. It's mm -hmm. not something I do for money or anything like that. It's just, yeah. I enjoy myself. It's just a vibe. It's just vibes. Like, it's just, music is sweet. <laughs> vibes music is on life. vibes. Yeah. Good. But, but, and talking about collaboration also, how those collaborations help you um, maybe on your future project? Like, do you think like collaborating with uh, a lot of people help you grow as an artist, for example? Yeah, I think it def definitely helps me reach certain parts of, you know, places, certain places, you know. Um, I collaborate with artists that, you know, some people don't even know me in like their region. Yeah. And it's like, oh, people know me now. You know, people, people, probably people knew like Rush yeah. and like Stability, but they don't really know the face. Yeah. I'm just collaborating with that artist that's, you know, put me in their like face. So, yeah. yeah You're talking about the journey, but following you, it's, it's, it's like a short period of time, but a lot of happened mm -hmm. from you posting on Instagram, having your record deal, your first album, and now touring the world. Do, do you ever take the time to reflect on that a little bit? To be honest, I was I traveled to to Barbados for my twenty first birthday, and mm -hmm. that was the first time I I, ch I felt like I was actually relaxed. Mm -hmm. It was my my birthday. I remember very well, and I was in the pool, and I just the the sun was coming down. Everything was so perfect. But I've taken like maybe two glasses of champagne and <laughs> celebrating life. Yeah. And I just that moment just made everything worth it. 
all the hard work, everything, that moment made it worth it. I was like, wow, like, I'm really doing well. This is good. Well, see me. I mean, yeah. I'm just in a mansion in Barbados yes. with my friends and living life at 21 years old. So it's crazy. Good. Talking about 21, the name of your tour is 21, the mm -hmm. world tour. Um, do you have any specific uh, cities or venues that you're excited to perform in? Um, definitely all the cities in North America, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Every single city is... I can't wait to perform there. Yeah. Um, definitely, I'm performing in Barbados again also. I'm performing in... Um, let me see. You have a lot London. of dates. You, you have London, it's Australia. I have Malawi. I have, I think, yeah. <laughs> yeah I have a lot of dates. So yes. Yeah. That's good. All right. So I, I think we're both tired because it's been a lot of energy on stage. Mm -hmm. I'm going to thank you for, thank for you. the time and thank hope you can me. maybe come back. In here. You said that you're coming back, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe, to, back maybe to visit like even you even did. Just, like, like just for the food. Like you just did for in the Barbados. food. Just enjoy myself. I've seen the water is so beautiful it here. Is. So I want to be you know, in is. the ocean. Why we not? will be happy to host you again. I'm coming. All this right. is on camera, by the way. Oh, you yes. just said it. We, I have evidence. Yes, we have evidence. We 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 gonna we gonna host you. Not going to. You're not coming to perform. Mm -hmm. Just enjoying Enjoyment. the country. That's what That's I want it. to hear. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, Aya, and good luck. And Thank you, for having me. you know, uh, you've been successful already. I think the f your future is bright. I'm waiting for that album, and I'm I'll see you in New York because I, I'm coming to I'm see coming you. Coming to in see you. All right. Too. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs>